Respite sucks, okay? So if you guys don't know what respite is, respite is when another foster family that do not have beds filled or only have, like let's say they have two beds, they have one filled, then since the other bed is not filled, filled and they don't have a placement, they can provide respite, to my understanding. I don't really use respite that much, but I'm going to tell you guys why. So to my understanding, and then they, any foster family can keep, uh, any foster family can keep your baby for you. And then the agency will pay the foster parent. Number one, foster parents are always really busy. They don't want to help anybody else's kids. They don't have the capacity to take on any other kids or help out because they dealing with the, the placements they have. Number two, you have some foster parents that are always on vacation. They're always busy. They have a very busy schedule. They can't help out. Then number three, the pay sucks. I believe like to watch a foster kiddo, it's like two or three dollars an hour. That's it, two or three dollars an hour. But therapeutic homes, I believe, to my knowledge, it was like 17, depending on what agency you go to, $20 an hour to provide res respite. And then they wonder why a lot of foster parents don't want to do it because first of all, we really have to work on upping the hours for respite, the, the how much foster parents are getting paid each hour. I believe that foster parents should get paid way more between 15 to $20 an hour. I, I'm going to be honest. If I keep a kid, I'm basically just doing, doing the foster parents a favor because you're not getting nothing out of it. I'm not saying that, that I'm not saying we need to be money hungry, but I'm just saying to take another foster placement, most likely nine times out of 10, they have some issues going on. They should pay us more because we're already busy with our own with our own family plus placements. Plus you want us to keep, keep somebody else's kid. So, and then everybody always saying, no, 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 no. I feel like maybe if they feel like, you know, their time is more appreciated by having the hourly rate go up. I feel like that will bring more foster parents willing to help. And then to the foster parents that do not have the foster parents that do not that do not have the help, right? Trying to wait on somebody to provide respite. That sometimes that sometimes is that's that's sometimes stressful because nine times out of ten it's really hard to find somebody that does respite. Or a lot of people do private pay. So foster parents, I don't know if this is like if you're able to do this or not. I wanted to find out. But a lot of foster parents will keep your kid and get paid from the agency, but will have you private pay or you have foster parents that will pay you on top of the agency paying you because they really need somebody to keep the kid so my thoughts on it we got to do better when it comes to respite because a lot of our a lot of us foster parents it's impossible to get help i'm being serious they always say oh we get respite we get respite that's why i hire, hired a babysitter and the babysitter i am so lucky she's moving though i already said it in one of the another one of the videos but She's very dependable and she lives like literally like 11, 11 minutes up the street. So I just call her whenever I need help, whenever we go on vacations, any of that. And I trust her with the kiddos. She's really good with them. She's very knowledgeable. And we gotta do, we gotta do better on respite. Like if I was able to come up with a company that pays foster parents or have a company to where foster parents can get certified and we can pay them or something, I don't know, but we gotta get better on the respite because respite sucks and it's not reliable. It's not reliable. And a lot of parents like, uh, I need a respite because we're going out of town. So they ask me, they're like, oh, we can try to find a respite. I'm like, okay, that's cool. Like I have my better, my babysitter that's going to do it, but why not? So there, and guess what? It's been like almost like a few weeks and everybody's saying they can't do it. So I'm hoping that with respite, we can improve that. We can pay more. We can pay us. They can pay us foster parents more for keeping other foster kids. I wanted to bring that up to my agency. I don't know if there's much that they can do about it, but I want to tell them like, hey, like, even if y'all bring it up to like twelve dollars, thirteen dollars an hour, like two or three dollars a day, heck no. And I was thinking about doing that too because we only had one bed. We had one. We had one bed, and then the other bed was open. So I wanted to do respite, and I'm like, oh, that's cool to have just one bed and be able to do like respite and help other people's kids and stuff like that. But for two or three dollars an hour, I mean, I'm a kind person like that. So if I know the foster parent or if I have like the time and everything to do that, then I wouldn't mind. A respite is sucks, man. And I'm sorry, I gotta say it because a lot of us foster parents, a lot of people get into the fostering, but 
a lot, a lot of foster parents feel like they're not supported. Me, I'm an advocate for my family and I'm an advocate for all of us. And I'm constantly always finding my own resources and finding my own help and finding my own stuff when it comes to the kiddos. And I have other foster parents that have to find that on their own. And they're always there to help me and guide me. So that's what I do. But we got to do better at respite because a lot of us, we, we, a lot of us need a break. And I'm sorry, but when I had, we had three beds open, we had three different kiddos, three different cases at one, at one point. And I love the kiddos. They all had their own little personalities. Um, but when we had all three, of, we, we had all, all three of them, what was I getting at? When we had all three of them, I, I always, I try to get respite. I could not find anybody to keep all three. I'm being honest with you. I had to sometimes spread them out if I could take leave one take two like it was a mess so i was like you, i was like you know what i gotta get a babysitter that's consistent i gotta get somebody that's consistent that can work with the kiddos and stuff because going through the agency sometimes it sucks so hopefully i'm not being too honest you guys but i'm just telling you respite we gotta we gotta see some improvement and i'm gonna push that issue this year too we got come on now like y'all uh, Y'all, I want to put all over Facebook. Oh my gosh, we need foster parents. We need foster parents. Okay, we need some goddamn respite increase, respite help. Lord, I thank God that I have family members and I have a babysitter. But man, imagine those people that are out here fostering don't have family members, don't have a babysitter, don't have anybody, and they're with the kid 24 hours of the day. Come on, let's improve now.